Okay, today we have Pete the Cat Checks Out the Library by Jane Dean. The library was always a favorite place of mine. It was an escape. You can go there and can read books and you can borrow them and it didn't cost a penny. Bookstores, on the other hand, you could read there, but if you wanted to take it home, you would have to pay. So I loved going to the library. And I actually wanted to be a librarian. <laughs> so I made my little home library. <laughs> okay. Pete the Cat Checks Out the Library by James Dean. Pete's mom is taking him to the library for the first time. The librarian gives Pete his very own library card. Cool, says Pete. The librarian smiles. Time for the tour. The librarian takes Pete through the library. There is a big desk where people wait to check out books. I remember back when I was in school, we did not have computers at home and we did not have Google. So we, anytime you needed to do a research project, you would have to go to the library. Pete sees some of his friends reading at a long table. It's very peaceful and quiet. How relaxing. And the key is no eating, no chewing gum, and no talking in the library. Because everybody is reading. The librarian takes Pete to her favorite room. There are lots of Pete-sized chairs and tables and shelves. There are books of every size, shape, size, and color. So I guess this is the children's room which is especially fun. What do I do now, Pete asks. Now you read a book, the librarian says. Which book should I read, asks Pete. You can read any book you like, says the librarian. Pete looks around. There are so many books. Pete picks up a book all about airplanes and jets. Soar. He reads it and pretends he is a stunt pilot. He flies a super fast jet and does the loop-de-loops and spirals high in the sky. Then he finds a book with dragons, wizards, and unicorns on the cover. Wow. He reads it and imagines that he is a powerful wizard using magic spells and a special wand to defend his castle against a fire-breathing dragon. Next, Pete opens up a book about spiders and insects. He reads it and imagines that he is a scientist studying all types of critters in the wild. Bugs. And these are some stickers that are still remaining in the book. <laughs> It has to be very still to study some critters and very fast to study others. So studying the butterfly and a spider. Then Pete chooses a book with all sorts of scary monsters on the cover. It's a book of fairy tales. Pete reads it and pretends that he is in a dark, spooky forest trying to outsmart a big bad wolf. Pretending to be Little Red Riding Hood, I suppose. Pete puts that book back on the shelf. It is too scary. This wolf got huge teeth and claws. Pete opens up a book about the pyramids in Egypt. He reads it and pretends that he's an explorer riding a camel across the desert. Hmm. And climbing to the top of a giant pyramid. This looks like Egypt. That would be a marvelous trip. And a sphinx over here. Two pyramids and a sphinx. Next, he picks a book with all sorts of robots on the cover. He reads it and imagines that he is a robot at a robot dance party. <laughs> and look at the disco ball. 
His arms and legs make whizzing sounds when he moves. When P Robot P speaks, he says, bleep, bloop, bleep. <laughs> Next, P picks up a book about superheroes. He reads it and makes believe that he's a superhero. He flies around the city in a colorful, colorful cape, chasing bad guys and saving the day. So this cat is robbing the bank, so Pete's going to stop him. <laughs> then Pete spots a big book about the ocean and all its creatures. He reads it and imagines that he is a scientist in a submarine deep in the Atlantic Ocean looking for whales, squids, and sharks. Wow, that's a cool submarine. There are so many wonderful books to read at the library. Pete can be whatever he imagines, imagines with a book. Reading is super groovy. So I could spend a whole day in a library or a bookstore. And these are all more groovy Pete the Cat books. Hope you enjoyed the read aloud. Thank you for watching.